know what time it is? It's time for Aunt Murda's Recipes. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another one of Aunt Myrna's recipes. She is amazing. If you sit with this woman, she'll talk food all day long with you. She has so many great recipes, so we're gonna try and bring them to you in this series, Aunt Myrna's recipes, all right? Now, strings and pegs. You're like, what's strings and pegs? I know I said the same thing. She explained it to me, so I'm gonna tell you. First of all, in the recipe, it calls for, where is it? There it is. Uh, French style green beans, okay? Like str string beans, they call them, okay? Now, pegs, this was a little difficult, but pegs, uh, you ever hear of shoe peg, corn, white shoe peg corn? It is it is in the grocery store. I had to look and look. Uh, it wasn't right at eye level. It was down to the very bottom, but it's a little bit sweeter and a little bit uh, bigger than regular white corn. If you can't find shoe peg corn, use yellow or white corn and just replace it, okay? Uh, do the same recipe with whatever corn you can find, but uh, shoe peg, there's your pegs, and string beans, there's your strings, strings and pegs. Now, this recipe came from a place in Birmingham, Alabama called Arlington. It's one of those old-fashioned southern homes that you can rent the place out for like a party or a wedding, and they prepare food, all this southern cooking, okay, it's, uh, Bir yeah, Birmingham, Alabama. And it's totally delicious. So we got a hold of the recipe through Aunt Myrna. Uh, she got it from them, and I'm passing it to you. Let's bring you in and show you. This is so easy. Uh, you probably call it a green bean casserole. We call it strings and pegs. Now this is a great recipe if you're having a party, a potluck. Everybody loves green bean casserole. Let's run down all the ingredients. You got your sharp cheddar cheese, you got your green beans, shoe peg corn, butter, a can of cream of celery soup, that's right on your soup aisle. Ritz crackers, almer, uh, almonds <laughs> that are slivered, excuse me. And then um, part of the onion, so just grab an onion. Diced pimentos, and I had to look for these. Uh, these were on the canned vegetable aisle. Uh, it was not by the olives. So don't look by the olives if you have a big supermarket. Go on the canned uh, vegetable aisle and look on top. This is on top. And sour cream. Wow, my mouth's watering already. Okay, so let's just show you the steps. As always, down below in the uh, description area is the recipe, so you don't have to worry about writing this stuff down. Just cut and paste it, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, first thing you're gonna do is either butter, grease, oil, or spray your pan. Whatever you wanna do. There, and that's ready. Now, you're gonna open the green beans and strain all the water out and you're going to open the corn and strain all the water out of that and then mix it all up and dump it in here and lay it all out. I kind of want to mix it up with the corn. I just don't want the, uh, just don't want to plop it right in the pan. So I'm going to put them in here. Same with the corn, which had very little water, ironically. I was very surprised at how little the water was in the corn. Put the corn in here. And just gently put a spoon in here and just kind of mix things up. See, the, the corn mixes with the green beans. You want it all to be kind of even. Looks good. That look good to you? Okay. Looks like there's not a lot there, but where do we put everything in? Okay, so now we have this all laid out, all nice and neat. We're going to put this off to the side because we got to mix some... We gotta mix some ingredients, all right? So, we're gonna do half a cup of onions, half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, half a cup of pimentos, I'm using the whole container because it's four ounces, it's just what I need. Half a cup of sour cream. Make sure you get a spoon and scrape this out. You don't want your measurements to be off. There we go. And a can of cream of celery. Same thing with this. Make sure you spoon it all out. See, it's all in there. 
You're going to mix it all up. I'm just going to pour this on top here. Look how beautiful that is. I'm going to need a tissue. I think I'm going to cry. Put this off to the side here. I'm going to take a whole roll of Ritz crackers, okay? You're going to put them in a Ziploc bag and you're going to crush them all up. If you've never done this, it's pretty simple. The hardest part is opening the Ritz crackers when your hands are messy. <laughs> that was easy. And we're going to put them all in the bag. If you just feel real uh, violent, you can just, just crush it up yourself. Make sure it's sealed, okay? Because you're going to want these finely, you're going to want this all crushed up. Bring this back here. And you're just going to sprinkle this all on top. You're going to take a stick of butter. We're going to melt this in the microwave. Yep, it just keeps getting better. I'm telling you, Aunt Myrna never lets us down. So I'm going to zap that just in one second, and I'll be right back. All right, there you go. It's all melted. Now, what do you think we're going to do with this? That's right. Oh, got to take a diabetic pill and a cholesterol pill for this one. There you go. And last but not least, I have a couple packages of almond slivers. So you're gonna shake these all over. It's a work of art already, I haven't even cooked it. Isn't that gorgeous? That's nice. Now, once again, as you can see in the directions down below, we're gonna bake this for half an hour at 375, and then we're gonna bake it at half an hour for 350, and then it's done. We'll take a look. You're watching The Cooking with Jack Show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee, we do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Okay, this just came out. Look how beautiful that is. Can you see that? That's all beautiful. All brown, browned almonds with some crispy Ritz and some melting cheese and sour cream bubbling out and pimento and onions and oh my gosh. Let it cool for a little bit, but I'm going to open it up and I'm just taking this whole piece. This is just like a green bean casserole, okay? So it's going to be a little messy and a little good and a little awesome. Look how beautiful that is. Let's get the knife and just slide it right off. Wow. Get you a better view there. See the layers? Oops. There you go. See the layers in there? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. So we'll give that a try. Okay, I'm going to let this cool a little bit. It's still hot. But I got to tell you, I know it's going to be amazing for Aunt Myrna's recipe. But uh, you might want to add seasoning. You might want to do a little salt, a little pepper, a little cayenne pepper. Kick it up. Change this any way you want. And you vegetarians, here's a dish for you. You're always asking for a good dish. Right? There's no meat in this, right? Yep. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's try it right now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, everything goes good together. The pimento, the sour cream. It's just, it's just amazing. It tastes great. In fact, if I was at a potluck, I wouldn't even finish this. I would just carry this up to the line and wait for seconds and start eating it right there in line. Try this out. Send me pictures, okay? And I'll get it on the show. And Aunt Myrna, we love you. I'll see you all on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care. Oh, man. Oh, she nailed it.